Welcome to this tutorial of how to get uh, GNS3 and Oracle's VirtualBox installed and running on your machine, on your Windows machine, I should say. Um, this is 2025 edition. I did this two years ago. Um, some things have changed a little bit. So if you are trying to install GNS3 with VirtualBox, follow this guide. There are certain firmware versions that are going to work some that do not so uh, if you use the versions that i'm using here i will try to name them out and list them in the comments uh, you should be able to get everything to work fine so obviously if you were here you are a network professional or someone that is starting to learn uh, on your career your beginning of your career to learn networking um, if you do not have the hardware physical hardware you know in your possession you're going to have to learn some other way and that's where gns3 comes in it's a great tool it has lots of different features um, within it there's lots of different plugins between cisco fortigate palo alto extreme networks um, aruba aruba cx switches that you can use so there's lots of different things you can use uh, gns3 for um, but we are going to get right into um, getting this installed. So the first thing you will want to do is come over to GNS3 slash software up here at the top. You can see that. Click on free download and get the Windows version <clears throat> and click download. While you are here, you might as well get uh, down here at the bottom where it says download GNS3 VMware. Go ahead and download that as well. You will need that later. Um, I already have these two downloaded, so I'm just going to bypass that. The next thing you will need to do is get VirtualBox. You can also use um, VMware if you want to use that, but for this uh, example, we are going to be using VirtualBox. You cannot just click download here on this. VirtualBox 7.1 does not currently work with GNS3. I've been trying this for two days, trying to get it to work. Um, hasn't worked so they might release a new version uh, later on that might work but as of uh, what is it January 31st 2025 um, if you are trying version 7.16 it will not work just just so you're aware um, so anyway how you find the actual virtual box that you will need that actually works um, is you will need to go to download and then scroll down here where it says previous releases here in the bottom right click on that and then you want to go VirtualBox 7.0 um, the one that I used previously and the one that I'm using today um, is going to be this one right here this is VirtualBox 7.0.8 and then you'll just click on Windows host right there and that'll actually start the download um, to your computer that's the one I'm using today. So you can try one of these other ones. I'm not going to guarantee that it works, but I know that this one works with uh, the current version of GNS3. So that's what we're going to go with. Once you have those three things downloaded, you will want to uh, first, you can install VirtualBox 7.0.8. We will download that. Uh, just hit next. Ask if you're you're okay with resetting your network uh, adapters. Just say yes. Um, it's going to add another network adapter uh, in, onto your machine <clears throat> that'll be used for virtualization. You can just hit start. That's fine. So this is what you'll be presented with. Uh, we're just going to minimize this right now. We're going to get uh, GNS3 installed as well. Next, next, next. Now in here, what I like to do is hit Tools. I just check that <clears throat> box for the WinPCAP just so it downloads. Um, there are a couple things in here that you do not need. We do not need SolarWinds the putty and we do not need this Trace NT. If you do not check those, when you go through the download, it's going to ask you to install install them and then it's going to actually ask for your email address and all that kind of stuff which you don't have to put in but it's just easier to just take those out 
um, so they don't get installed anyway. That's all you need. And then we'll click next, next, and have this installed. If you've already have like a <clears throat> Wireshark or something like that installed, unless for a newer version, just hit okay and it'll go through the process. We'll say next. No, we don't want anything for solar winds. And then we'll start GNS3. Okay. So now once we have that, we will go back to our virtual box and we're going to install the GNS3 VMware client. So to do that, we are going to hit import. And then we're going to try to find that. So, oh, I, I should say back before um, this. So if you if you do open up or install uh, GNS3 VMware, you're going to be downloaded. F first, you're going to get this GNS3 VMware uh, zip drive. Just extract that and then you'll get uh, the GNS3 folder. And it's going to have this OVA file in there. <clears throat> and that's what uh, we're install installing here, just so you're aware. We'll hit OK. We will hit next. Um, we can change your CPU around here. I usually put two megs of RAM and then two one for I don't know something, something that's uh, a little bit higher. One four eight. Four eight. Okay. Uh, and that should be all we need. It'll have two network adapters. Everything else looks good. I don't think we need to change anything else. This will install and import here. Um, and we'll have to go back into these settings here and, uh, and change a couple things. Because um, if you just start this right off the bat, it is not going to sync up with GNS3. So let's go into settings. And we need to go down to network and make sure that this is all set up correctly. And it looks like it is. Yep, that's OK. OK, so system. And then here in processor, you need to enable this enabled nested VTX um, AMD slash V. That has to be checked. Sometimes if your motherboard, if you built your computer, you may not have this AMD dash V enabled. Um, you might have to go into your BIOS and change that. Um, every motherboard's a little bit different in terms of how they uh, uh, word that. Um, but if you research that nested VT uh, in just say BIOS enable, you know, it'll it'll look it up there on Google and it should find it for you. Um, and then you should be able to uh, click this box. Click that and then we'll say OK. And then once this boots up, I will show you um, what to look for. There should be a virtualization setting here. Um, it should says either enable or disable. Okay, so this is the other error that you might get. You might get this error with your virtual box with your network adapters. You want to go back into settings uh, and then go to your network adapter. Um, here, all you have to do, I think, is just go NAT, save, and then go back into it. And then change this back to host only. Um, and then you'll see down here at the bottom, it actually kind of changed to virtual box host. I don't know why it, it does that, but um, it's just kind of a, a strange little bug within GNS3. So now if we boot this up, it should uh, come up and work just fine. Okay, so there's one more thing that we have to do, and that is change our network settings. So let's go into our network connection. Go to advanced. This is a Windows 11. And then Ethernet 3. This is the virtual box. And we go to more information. And then this virtual box NDIS 6 bridged mode, a bridge network driver. Uncheck that. Click OK. And then we'll want to cancel out of there. Um, we will 
bring this up again. We will disable and we'll enable it back again. I'm kind of doing some live debugging. So this is actually a good exercise because you guys will probably run into some of this stuff as well. All right, so now let's start this thing back up. All right, now we're starting to go into the GNS3 VMware. Okay, so this will be the window that you can see. Um, there's your IP address. Um, you should be able to ping this. So if we bring up a command line, ping 192.168.56.106. Make sure that's on. Ping 192.168.56.106. Should be able to ping that. We can, so that's good. Um, this KVM support available, true. If you did not, let's go into settings. If you did not check this button right here, this enabled nested VT, it will say false here and you will not be able to sync up to GNS3. So that's why we check that button to get this to true so we can get everything connecting to GNS3. Once we have that going, we can minimize everything within GNS. Um, we can do either one here. Since we already have a uh, virtual box going, we can do this run appliance on a virtual machine. Uh, as you can see, requires a download, install GNS3 VMware. <clears throat> So we'll say next. Localhost is fine. This is the port you're going to be connecting to, 3080. And next. And next. Could not be found. Requires VM player. Download connector. Switch that to VirtualBox, refresh. Obviously we're not using VMware, so don't care about that. Um, we don't have to change any of the cores because we already set that up within uh, VirtualBox. So as long as we have VirtualBox selected and this shows up, it should be hit next. Settings, error, cannot be found. Okay, now let's give all this a restart. So we'll shut all this down. All right, so we started up GNS3. Let's uh, create a new project. Hit OK, start this up. Uh, as you can see over here, GNS3 is not started yet. Um, so we can make sure that that's going. This is going. So we are good there. So now let's go back and check our preferences and let's make sure that everything is good here. That it all looks good. And go down to virtual box, uh, I'll hit new, create. There is our VMware, hit apply and okay. And now we have GNS3 running uh, within um, virtual box and synced up. So we should be good now. Now we can start loading images into uh, VirtualBox, uh, which is going to be like your extreme systems, um, Aruba, CX, you know, that kind of stuff, FortiGates. Um, we'll put that all into uh, VirtualBox. We'll do that in the next video. Hopefully this will uh, continue and we can add a lot more in here and then start diving into uh, the code versions um, and some of the